Jordan, a precious area of our planet with a number of jewels, still surviving from what we claim as a lost antiquity, Baalbek, with megaliths which, if not in perfect placements, would simply be unimaginable as the ancient objects used to create these enormous temple complexes, littered with numerous blocks estimated at well over 1,000 tons in size. It is a site whose explanation for construction is, predictably, avoided by modern archaeology. Although once dismissed by academics as immovable, the stone of the pregnant woman, for example, has since, due to more modern digging, been proven to, in fact, be merely a block part of another temple, which is now still mostly buried under millennia of strata. Another incredible find, and one that pushes the sizes of what these ancient civilizations were capable of, is an enormous stone upart, known as the Colossal Hand of Hercules. Excavated in Amman, and due to the find's proximity, to what is now known as the Temple of Hercules. It is now thought to have been a hand of a gargantuan marble statue of Hercules himself. However, regardless of identity, when one begins to estimate the past size of the statue in relation to the hand, the statue itself would have been many, many thousands of tons in weight, undoubtedly towering into the sky. There exist many legends of statues, built in many other parts of the world, some in docklands, some in capital ancient cities, some toppled, such as the obelisk of Aksum, again over the thousand tons in weight mark, and many unfinished. Yet this statue would have dwarfed all in size. And the fact that it was found in Jordan, a boiling pot for unexplained antiquity, a simply gigantic stone megalithic site its discovery is made all the more intriguing and, we feel, can be legitimately used to argue or rather push the capability of this lost civilization's capabilities of moving ancient stones even more advanced and astonishing in capability. Unfortunately, we feel due to the sheer age of the statue and the fact that it lived through a catastrophe of global proportions, only this fragment of hand and a portion of the elbow exists, subsequently found at the site. But reiterating the sheer size of other artifacts at the site, again gives credence to the past existence of a complete statue, and regardless of whether it was indeed once of the mythological character Hercules. We find the hand, and indeed its possible origins, as highly compelling.